Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting and today we're going to do something completely different than what we normally do with bins. So in the past I've showed you my bins, my bags, and the various systems I have and these are all continuous systems. You keep adding food, you keep adding food and eventually you harvest, but some of them they even you harvest from the bottom and then you get from the top. So it's very, very easy to keep these going and they're really meant for families that don't have a lot of people. But every once in a while, I run into an issue where I have too much food. I really need a way to use a whole lot and put it into a system. And that's where this vermenting system that Mark from Eve Growing came up with really does work. Now he sent me this bucket right here, and I'm gonna show you how to put one of these together. But before I do that, I do wanna call out to his channel and I'll link it up above, and I'll put it down in the description as well. And if you can't, please subscribe to him. He's trying to get to a thousand subscribers. And since he sent me these a bunch of buckets like this, I really want to help him out and try to get there to that thousand subscriber number. So if you can, please go click on his channel and subscribe. And let's go and start taking a look at what we need to do to put one of these bins together as the way he showed it on his videos. Okay, here we go. So first off, we've got, this is a six gallon bucket. I already have part of this put together, but I'll take it apart to show you here. And in this, he cuts a hole here in the lid, all right? And this is just a Gatorade bottle type lid, if I can get it unscrewed here, that's holding this on. So it's just a standard cap here from a bottle. And all he's doing is pushing it through. He has this fabric material, which he also sent me some extra of right here. Let me just show you this real quick. Right here, this is the, the fabric material. It's a very fine mesh. It's gonna keep your bugs out probably, or at least the majority of them. So, but he, he has these held on in an ingenious way where he's cutting off the bottle, you know, the bottom of the bottle, he's using the top and that's holding it on there. So it's not gonna go anywhere. It can't come off or go on. So it's really ingenious the way he thought of that. So that's the first part. He has one drilled in the hole, a hole drilled in the top here. And I think this is like an inch and a half hole. You'd have to check with the bottles that you're using. I don't wanna say, you know, if you're using a smaller bottle, that's, that's gonna be different, but this one looks like it's about an inch and a half. So one in the top, then you come inside here. By the way, also just so you can see here, these lids have a rubber ring, so they seal really well, okay? He now has four, and these are smaller. These are one inch, I think, on the sides here. These are, these are ready to go. Also, same thing, bottle caps, they're just stuck it through here. And then he has four on the bottom. So if you can see down here, he's got four. He's got one there, one over here, one here, and one here. This is one that he sent me that's already put together. He has a floor in here, okay, which is just a piece of metal. And now this is one thing, he has another hole in the center here, which allows this to drain. Oh, you can't see that, here we go. So you can, now you can see it, you can see that that's the, uh, the drain in there. There we go. So there we go, there's the drain right here. So I'm gonna cover up the drain. And then we're going to put our mesh in. All right, now what he has with that Okay, he also has a centerpiece that goes in the center here and acts as a, a tube that the worms can sort of go up and down. So this is what it looks like, I guess, when it's together. Now, the way we need to do this is the first thing we need to do is we need to put some newspaper down here to kind of keep all the material above. And then we want to put some material, wrap it around this piece right here. And then we want to start filling this with compost rolls. So the first thing I need to do is, and this is going to be in another video that you can watch and I'll link it up above, is I need to shred all the food. You really want smaller pieces for this. You don't want big chunks, that's gonna be harder. You can do it with big chunks. You're probably gonna have to wait a little bit more time, but I'm gonna grind up my food pretty small. So I'll link that up above here and, the, and you can take a look. All right, got our bucket for our vermenting. Got our ground up food. I have a little bit extra on the side over here and then I even have some more behind me because I don't think this is gonna be quite enough. Now, there is something else that he mentions for his system which is duff or under you know the, the forest floor. I don't have that in my area, unfortunately. I don't have a lot of forest. So I'm gonna use some stuff that's partially composted for my bins. This is also gonna have some worms in it, maybe some material, but that's what I'm gonna add as sort of a material for between the compost rolls. So the first thing we need to do to open this up, I'm gonna put this lid to the side. We've got our cage in here, and I'm gonna actually do something a little different here. I've got a, an old sock here. I'm gonna to try to stretch this over top and see if I can put this on here.
That looks like that works pretty well. This has to go down here. We need a piece of newspaper in the bottom here, so let me grab a sheet of paper. I'm not going to add too much newspaper. This is looks like that's uh, maybe a little small. All right, so you know what? Maybe that was a little bit too small. Let me grab a different one here. All right. This time we've got one of the corner sections here. I'm just going to take this corner, rip it off. That's going to be our hole for this piece right here. I'm just going to cram this down like this to the bottom. Make a floor. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to try to make it so that way the uh, material is not going to fall through. Although I shouldn't have that issue since we're going to be doing compost rolls. And if you don't know what those are, I have a video on that. And this is something that Mark really uh, pioneered, I feel. I don't know if other people came out with it first, but I know that he was the first one I saw doing it. And that's where you take a piece of newspaper, which I'm trying to grab here, and I have all this ground up food here ready to go. Take a piece of newspaper, bunch of food, goes in the paper, it's wrapped up, and now it's a food roll, essentially. It's almost like a burrito. And you put, we're going to put these all along this bottom section here. So I really, first off, I want to thank, while I'm doing this, I want to thank Mark for sending this stuff out to me. Uh, I know that his nephew ran them down to me from where he is. And we've talked before, and he felt guilty about not sending them out. But he was a real help in sending these out because I was buying buckets until he sent out a bunch of buckets to me. I mean, I, I you know, I had nowhere to get them from. I tried calling some of the companies near me, no, no, nobody wanted to share buckets. They all were like, you can't take them. So without this, it would have been something where I would have really had to have purchased buckets to do all this work. And instead, I get to try it out. And he even sent me all the stuff with it so I could really try this on my own, which I'm really thankful for and really want to thank him for. So let me get this in here. And that's why I want you guys, if you can, to go over to his site and also subscribe. So that way he can get up to a thousand subscribers. He can, I know that also helps him monetize his channel. But not only that, but he also really wants to do some Facebook, or I'm sorry, YouTube Live uh, stuff. And that'll really help him. So if you can, please go and subscribe to his channel. Again, it will be linked down in the description. As you can see, this food's going pretty fast. By the way, this is all, a lot of this is frozen. And I put, put it through my shredder. So it's a little chilly, but should be fine. All right, so this is our first couple. I already did a little bit more maybe than I should have, but that's okay. So that's our first row there. I'm going to add some of this material I have off to the side here, which has some worms in it. And some of the microbes that we need to get this thing going. So it's falling on top of the sock there. I'm just going to knock that off to the side. I even see some cocoons in here, which is good. So they should hopefully... I'm not going to be putting in too many worms. I'm hoping that this will actually uh, be kind of a breeding bin also and kind of breed some of these worms in here. So we'll see how that goes, though. So we're getting down to the bottom here. It's a little bit more moist. All right, so that's all I'm going to add for food. I'm a couple inches maybe below these uh, caps, maybe a little bit lower on this side than that side, but I think that's good for now. 
So what I want to do, though, is I want to add something else here to this as well that I find that I need to add to my bins, and that is some grit. So I've got some grit just kind of in one of these shaking containers. Actually, I'm going to take this off, though. I think I need a little bit more than that. This is just making sure that it doesn't get up in the air so I'm not breathing it either. So I'm going to put on quite a bit of grit on the top here. We're going to let that work its way down. And that's just crushed up eggshell. I'll link to a video on how I do that uh, up above. Uh, that's crushed up, I should say, eggshell and crab shell. So it's not just one, it's both. All right, so we got the sock here still. Now we're going to just kind of load this up. With this duff that I have right here on the top. And this also has worms in it, as I said. Now I'm going to go and grab some more worms to add, though. And this is going to have also some more duff because this is going to be from one of my other bins. All right, so here we go. This is a wet mess, but it's loaded with worms. This will dry out in here, hopefully. This is from one of my bins. It's, uh, it's gotten a little bit too damp on one side, and I really need to empty it out here and take care of it, but it's, I think it's perfect for this. It's got a ton of worms in here, and they should do pretty well in here, I think. I think they're used to most any condition you can throw at them. So there we go. That's how you make this. Now what you do, let me just get the last of this off here, is we're going to close this up. So this is where this is very different than the systems that I use normally. So normally for my systems, what I would do is at this point, I'd be like, okay, we're going to come back in a week and check. We're not going to do that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to close this lid on here. If I can. I'm about to do that when I get it on the floor. I think it's a little bit too hard for, for me at this, uh, this height because I can't put any weight on it. So, but we're going to close this lid on, and actually, I'm going to mark a date on here. All right, so there we go. There's today's date, 8-16-2020. I know that's not the best handwriting on there, but it's a bucket. It's kind of hard to write on. So... I'll get this sealed down. I'm going to put this on top of a lid from a container here. So I've got this lid right here. I'm going to put it on top of here because there could be some juices that come out of the bottom hole that's in this bin. So there's a bottom hole in here. I don't want this to get all over my floor. It's going to come into here and I can vacuum it up or take it and drain it off or whatever. But I'm going to make sure it's sitting on top of something, okay? So that is my plan. Thank you for watching. Again, please go check out Mark's channel. And if you can, please subscribe if you have not already. I really want to help him out. He helped me out. He got me these buckets. And plus, he had, there was actually about 10 buckets that he sent me. Um, as I could not get these near me for free, which he, know, he does. He gets them from a, a local store that, uh, you know, they throw out all their buckets at the end from this, this one restaurant. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think. Please check out Mark's channel. And thank you for watching.